hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are doing this beautiful royal look for 2019 this is my first royal look i believe i'm gonna do maybe two more for you guys to show different colors this look gonna go with every single dress you're gonna put on i put a dual chrome eyeshadow it's gonna go with a blue dress a purple dress a green dress every single dress you can imagine this one will go so if you're interested to see just keep on watching <laughs> So I don't have any primer from the drugstore so I'm gonna skip that part but if you just moisturize your skin I think it's more than enough you don't need a specific primer for this look and I'm gonna jump right into the foundation so today I'm be using the Maybelline Superstay uh, foundation so I like to use this foundation because it's full coverage and super long lasting and I'm using the shade uh, 120 Classic Ivory if you're interested. I'm just gonna grab a foundation brush and I'm gonna apply slowly and small amount. And as you can see, it's super full coverage. You wanna make sure when you use a foundation like this that you apply bit by bit, otherwise it's gonna get cakey. So if you feel like you need more coverage on some areas, you can always build it up. So today I'm starting with the face, but if you want, you can start with your eyebrows or doing your eyeshadow first. But I know I'm just going to make a very simple eye look, which not going to have any fallout. So that's how I started with the face. One thing about this foundation that it oxidizes, so you want to make sure you get a shade lighter when you purchase this one. So from concealer, I'm using this one from Catrice. So this is the liquid camouflage high coverage foundation. And I'm not gonna put a lot because this foundation was already full coverage. I'm gonna put a little bit just to highlight. And I'm gonna use the same foundation brush just to blend this out. So it's gonna help me to blend it together nicely with the foundation. And I'm gonna apply it on my eyelids as well, just to kind of prime my eyes for the eyeshadow. So just to set everything on my face, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So of course, if you like a more dewy finish, you don't need to do this stuff. But um, I really like a matte long-lasting powder, just to make sure my foundation will stay all day long. So at this point, I like to do my brows before my contour because um, I can see how like, my brows is so I want to make sure my contour is not going to go any darker than my eyebrows otherwise it's going to look silly so for that I'm using the uh, Silky Girl Insta Glam Brow Cream this is in the shade 01 Natural Brown so it comes one side it comes like a cream and the other side going to be a brush which is super good when you're traveling and I'm not going to do a very harsh brow today because it's just gonna be a super simple look uh, first I'm just gonna do the underline and on the top and I'm just gonna after they go and fill in them you wanna make sure at the front of the brow is a lot lighter than the end so I'm not going to apply any extra product, I'm just going to use the leftover and I'm going to go back with a spoolie and then I'm just going to blend the product together. So I put some concealer on the back of my hand and I'm just going to go and carve out my brows. Not too much, otherwise it's going to look cakey. Top of foundation. Just put very slightly, not too much further. So for contouring, bronzing, I like to use this one from Essence. This one called Sunkiss Beauty 01. And I'm just going to take my all-time favorite contouring brush. It just looks like this. It's a multi brush. And I'm going to apply the product. Just, I already have this line here. And you want to make sure you apply a little bit higher so when you blend it, it's not going to fall behind, I mean below. So you're going to go a little bit higher. 
and when you apply don't put too much pressure on the on the bristles otherwise it's gonna get a little bit um, muddy so you wanna make sure you just do these motions and then you hardly touch the skin I'm gonna apply a little bit just right here not too much otherwise I'm gonna look like very muddy it's gonna be a lot of difference between my hairline up here and then the foundation color just a little bit and then with the leftover product I'm just gonna go over the side of my nose not to contour just to create a nice depth and then nice shading I'm using this one also from Essence this is 10 peach me up and you can get Essence product from Watson's I'm gonna go back with my blush brush for Morphe as well looks like this and tap off the excess every time and you wanna make I for my face shape I have to put the blush over here because I don't wanna look like very long faced so if I would put right here I would look like funny so I'm gonna make sure I put the blush right here so my face gonna be uh, more round and you just wanna apply bits by bits as well The leftover product I'm just gonna go over over here just to look a little bit sunkiss and the tip of my nose and the chin just a very small amount for highlighter I like to use this essence 10 sunkissed glow uh, highlighter palette I use these two lighter shade up here when you use a highlighter you also want to make sure you tap off the excess and build it up slowly so when you've done that you want to go back with the same brush and use the blush and then you want to mix it together but you don't put any extra product on the brush so for eyeshadow I'm using this palette from Makeup Revolution I know you cannot get this in uh, Malaysia however there are some um, Instagram pages where you can purchase from them they can get it for you from the UK and this is definitely a win you must get it if you don't have look at the shades in there so I'm gonna look, do a very simple look um, not sure yet which one uh, I think I'm gonna go a little bit of like a purple-ish gonna use this pinky shade here this purple right here and I'm gonna use this duochrome shade right here so I'm gonna pick up this pinky shade right here called overcome and when you use that you want to make sure you tap off the excess I know this palette is very pigmented so you want to make sure you apply bits by bit and I'm gonna oh look at that I'm just gonna apply it into my crease and I'm gonna try to blend it out and also I'm not gonna use too much pressure on the brush I'm just gonna touch my skin very slightly I'm gonna pick up a smaller brush with the same shade but now I'm gonna try to apply a little bit more on the outer corners and you just want to do these motions when you just dab it on and then slightly move it around you don't want to blend too much out just gonna create a nice nice depth on the eye I've got hooded eyes so cut creases doesn't really suit my eyes that's why I do this type of looks so when I open my eyes it looks very pretty dark on this side so and then you can slightly blend it a little bit inside but not too much an even smaller brush I'm gonna pick up this purple shade here called Odo quite sure how to spare I'm gonna make sure you tap off the excess as well and you just wanna put this on the out of corner just right here
you can really see how I do it and I hardly touch my skin with the brush I'm just gonna blend it very carefully I don't want to put it too high or too much inside just gonna put a very small product to blend it together with that nice light purple shade that's it and then the same shade I'm gonna put just on my lower lash line just to smoke it out a little bit so just quickly finish the other eye and I'm gonna go with this duochrome shade right here and I'm just gonna pick this color up on my fingers and I'm gonna bring you closer to see this because it's beautiful so look at that it's got like greens, blues, purples, everything in there it's so beautiful I'm gonna press that just in the inside and not too high look how easy that was so me personally I don't like to use eyeliner a lot of times so I'm just gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna apply my mascara so I will be right back so mascara I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise it's already quite dirty and the paint is coming off but it's still good and this is my all-time favorite drugstore mascara and I'm just gonna coat my lashes and actually I'm not planning to wear any false lashes because my lash is already long and this mascara is gonna look perfect with this look you don't need any fake lashes So mascara is on as you can see is a massive difference and I don't really need any lashes with this one so for lips I'm using this Rimmel Satin Safe Satin li liquid lip color and I'm gonna mix it together with this lip gloss uh, from Catrice so this lipstick is beautiful pinky and then I'm gonna put a little bit of this gloss just on the center So it's going to make your lips look a little bit bigger. So to set the face, I like to use this Palladio Forever and Ever Makeup Setting Spray. look guys i hope you guys enjoyed this raya tutorial this is super easy trust me you can do it even if you don't have this eyeshadow palette i would recommend to get eyeshadows from essence i believe they're quite pigmented when i used it and it's quite similar quality for the makeup revolution so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and please share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel i like this video if you want to see more Thank you so much guys, see you next time.